Welcome. Now, let's look at the finance part. Within the strategic business leader precinct, March 2024, for the athletic trans central company. If you see the precinct, that we've got the financial information selected summary that I've summarized it here. Firstly, we are told about, let's say, the total revenue has been growing year on year. However, the growth rate has slightly reduced from last year. So what I want you to say to the examining team is that it may be because of the changing broadcasting deals. Because as we've seen, the next to that, the biggest revenue is from the TV or television. So this may give an excuse to the examining team that on the exam date, there might be possibility to develop new commercial partnerships to increase the sponsorship revenue, okay, to the AT company. So I want you to remember this, okay, so always quote that in your answer. Not just for that, the examining team has disclosed us with the EBITDA. Now, the EBITDA, EBIT, stands for the earnings before interest and tax, or we can call it the PBIT, profits before interest and tax, but we plus depreciation, plus amortization from the intangible asset. The reason why this will be a case is because in this industry, different football clubs will have different sizes in terms of their investment in the stadium and buying the top players. So this is why the depreciation and amortization will be absolutely different from clubs to clubs. And this is why in order to make figures more comparable, we simply plot them all together. This means that we are not allowing the earnings to be distorted by such depreciation or amortization expenses. Now, as we can say, the margin has been declining. I want you to say to the examining team that this may be because of the wages pressure, because we know the salary costs will be the highest one in this company. At the same time, there might be pressures on the maintenance cost because we are told from the precinct that our stadium has been built for many and many years. So this is why the, this will push our EBITDA margin down. And finally, we also told about the relevant earnings okay, for the FFPR. So in my previous recording, I told you that my top tip for this particular case would be that the company on the exam date may be in breach of the financial fair play regulation. So yes, as we can see, the relevant earnings margin has been decreasing. What I want you to say to the examining team is that this may be because that we lack of significant victories in the Division 1 and domestic cups competitions. And this is why our revenue, yes, the growth rate has been quite slow and because of the changes in broadcasting deals from the TV and because that we haven't won so many competitions and this is why bringing down our revenue. At the same time, so yes, we cannot attend the Russian International League as well because of this. So I want you to remember this and always quote them in the actual exam. Now, my other tip for the finance part related to AT, yes, it's important that you recognize the finance part from your performance management or the financial management study will come into being. Firstly, in terms of the sources of finance. So in other words, whether or not we should choose the debt finance or equity finance, what well, I want you to think about is not the theory part. But firstly, you need to know there will be reducing margin from the pre scene as we've seen here. For example, the EBITDA margin and also the relevant earnings. So this is why when considering the source of finance, make sure that your quote, yes, will need to check the cash flows forecast. Because 
in the exam that the examining team always encourages students to challenge the status quo. So this is why, yes, it would be a question mark that we've not we've got enough profits to settle those finance costs. The second top tip is all about the cash operating cycle. Now, cash operating cycle in this industry will be absolutely key there because the cash operating cycle from your earlier studies will equal to the inventory days, which means the number of days that we can sell of those inventories, merchandise, products, plus receivables days, i.e. the number of days that we can collect uh, money from our credit customers, minus payable days. Now, payable days, not just payable to the supplier, but sometimes payable to our employees as the salary. Now, I want you to remember that from the pre season there might be drops during the off-season period. So this is why our stadium in some of the months may not be fully utilised. Or perhaps our company, yes, football team, has been relegated. We can't win the match, for example. So if that's the case, then you will still have to pay money to your employees and suppliers. So this is why my top tip is that why not to consider the sale of season tickets to get lots of revenue, to reserve cash and to best prepare for it during the trough period. And of course, operating cycle or cash operating cycle, if it is positive, let's say five days, so this means that we'll need to wait another five days before we can finally collect cash from customer. However, if the cash operating cycle is negative, so this means that we don't really have to wait and then we get the money in advance. However, if the cash operating cycle is negative, we will need to challenge whether or not the company is complying with good corporate responsibility principles. Now, finally, regarding budget, which means the cash flows forecasting, uh, something like that. From my perspective, yes, there will be lots of budgeting methods in the syllabus, but the ones which are most applicable and suitable to this industry will be from a top-down approach, which means it's up to the management team, so for example, the chairman and the CEO, most likely will be the CEO, to approve that budget. Of course, you notice that the CEO is the member from a family, okay, so uh, who is the uh, major shareholder to this company. At the same time, yes, considering the rolling budget, to keep updating that budget because we are facing severe competition in this industry. And finally, I will not use the ZBB zero-based budget, but rather I would like to prefer incremental budget. So in other words, in this particular industry, because of the recurring nature of the sport seasons, so usually for football clubs, they usually take the last year's figure and to adjust for the inflation, that kind of stuff, and to become our this year's budget, which means the incremental one will be the most suitable. All right then, so I hope you're happy. So I would say that the case information will be very, very interesting. If you want to check out more of the details of this case, so please do visit my website and I wish all of you the best of luck to your upcoming SBR exam. APC, accounting for your future.